Everyone Talking About Deep Dark Vanilla by D.S. and Durga, released in 2023. The notes in this are Cabrueva, Orchid, Pink Pepper, Vines, Vanilla, Green Leaves, Cypress, Patchouli, and Hay. So I really like this. Uh, the vanilla here is indeed deep and rich, not like a cloying, synthetic, stereotypical vanilla. And I say that as someone who loves vanilla in all forms. Usually I'll think like even just, you know, a cheap $20 vanilla perfume smells good. So I'm not hating on those kinds. But if you're looking for something that is much more of like a real deep vanilla pod style and less sugary, I think this is a great job at that. On the other hand, if you're looking for something that's just about a sweet vanilla, I've seen people be very disappointed by this and they found it too, I don't know if pungent would be the right word here, but just not kind of sweet enough for what they were looking for. The hay is very noticeable right from the beginning, which to me works so well with the vanilla and pairs really well with the green notes. There is definitely a green feel here, but it's not in a dewy type of green way. It's more like a dusty, earthy style green, like dry green leaves covered in dusted vanilla is sort of what I pictured, but in an intriguing and nice way. Um, the kind of patchouli here, it's listed as dark patchouli, which I already don't like patchouli, so when I saw that in the notes list before smelling it, I was like, okay, let's get this over with. But this is actually whatever, there's a kind of the one kind of patchouli that I can tolerate, I would just describe it smelling dusty somehow and that's the kind that I get here and I also get that kind from like Chanel Le Leon and certain other fragrances where they manage to somehow have the patchouli be noticeable but I don't hate it so yeah not saying everybody who hates patchouli is going to be like me and be okay with this kind but this is a rare use of it that I actually am down with and I think it works really well here um yeah so I really enjoy green vanilla fragrances in general, and I'd love to see them done more. I think there's so much room for them to be done more in terms of either this kind where they're like sort of dry, dark green, but also like the dewy green and vanilla too. But yeah, as for this one, really well balanced. Uh, the different notes to me all just kind of add some nuance without taking it in too many different directions or detracting from the focus of the scent. I just really like how present the hay is too, which you see that a fair bit in a niche sense, and yes, this is niche, but this is still more like popular niche. So usually ones like this don't quite use it in such a central way. And yeah, it's just like really natural smelling to me. And uh, yeah, a lot of people, as mentioned, find this too smoky or earthy when they were going into it opening for just like this really perfect vanilla for them. Uh, to me, it doesn't come across that way at all. And I love smoky scents, so I would be thrilled to get something smoky out of it here. And I don't like most earthy scents. But again, if there is a sense of something earthy here. To me, it's just not the kind that's like, oh, this is an earthy fragrance, period, or something like that. But so if you like the idea of patchouli, hay, and very like authentic vanilla fragrance, I think this is excellent. To me, there's even times when it has a couple similarities with Zoologist Harvest Mouse, which I also like those aspects, the way they're done there. Very unisex overall. 210 for a 50 milliliter or about 300 for a 100 milliliter moderate longevity low to moderate projection and i will link in the description where you can check it out